School 18 and the Town of Barnstable have a commitment to our youth. We have an internship program here at the station, and with me today is our newest intern from Barnstable High School, Seamus Shopshire. Welcome, Seamus. Thank you, Paula. So internships are kind of one of those things that some kids do them and some kids don't. Why are you doing an internship this year? So I really wanted to do the internship to really get kind of out there and kind of experience things. Um, and in this one particular, I worked into the I worked in the school's um, B2B TV studio as a class in a course that I took, and I just really enjoyed it. Um, I never really thought of it as a career, but as I kind of started to really get into it and started to play around with things and editing and recording and all this different kind of stuff, I, uh, it kind of just kind of clicked with me. And as soon as I found out that there was an opportunity to do an internship um, that Miss Eastman runs at the school, I was just like, yeah, definitely, I want to do that. And um, it was just a matter of where do I go? Like, where where can I go? And one of the options she said to me was um, Channel 18. And because I've done stuff at B2B TV and because I'm interested in studio work, she um, she offered, she said, this is a really nice, you know, studio. We had people intern there. And, um, and I said, yeah, let's do it. All right. So you're here. You've been here since uh, uh, for a full month now, since, uh, well, almost uh, September 18th, I think, was your start date. So what are the things that you have as goals to learn here? So I really, when I came in the first day, I had little to really know where my goals were going to be set. You know, where can I set them? How far can I go? Um, and then I realized that it was just limitless. And I, one of those main things I think you even have already been teaching me is storytelling and being a storyteller. And I'm, I'm kind of that guy who always goes in with a story and makes it a huge, you know, thing and um, makes a movie out of it. And uh, so when, you know, I started to work on some of the projects I ended up working on, I, you know, realized that in myself and really wanted to set a goal to be a really good storyteller, to be really good at approaching the audience and just in general, um, you know, just you know, make everybody aware of what's going on. And um, in any case, it's good things, bad things, and uh, all, all around. All right. So storytelling, you know, municipal government, we don't necessarily think of that as the entertainment industry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there are stories about your town. What are some of the things that have surprised you so far about working for the town? Um, that you're kind of hidden. <laughs> that you're kind of, you know, you're, uh, well, that's because we're in the basement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're kind of put behind a camera or behind the computer, and um, it's all, and it's not a bad thing at all. At least for me, I almost like it because it's kind of like you're a little sneaky. You know, you're just kind of doing it, and nobody, um, nobody. I mean, people are aware of it, but they're not always thinking about it. And so once they see the channel, put up some video on Facebook or YouTube or whatever it is, um, you know, when you're not in front of the camera and you're behind the scenes, it's almost like, you know, a director in a film or anything like that. So working with the town is kind of similar. Everybody's above and they're all working on their stuff. And uh, we're down here just, you know, working away just like them. That's right. Or just putting a lens on what we do here at town government. Yeah. So let me ask you a couple of questions. So you're a musician, um, and you're uh, really that's your your true love here. We, we know you're <laughs> probably not going to work in government access the rest <laughs> of your life, so that's okay. Um, we you know we're going to expose you to uh, the different aspects of that. But as a musician, how will an internship help you as you go forward in your career? So I really um, took an interest in when we were talking about storytelling. Um, just as we were speaking about. Um, that's kind of a part of music in itself. Um, not only is it working in a studio as you would be working in a music studio, you know, same kind of thing, but also being able to write music and tell a story through music um, rather than footage and talking about it. I mean, you can, you can write lyrics, but you can also just play. And to have different approaches on how to tell a story just through this, whether it's you know, knowing the 
who, what, where, when, why of everything, you might be able to feed that into music, you might be able to feed that into writing a book. Um, <coughs> and when I personally write my own music, already <coughs> some of the stuff I've learned here, I've began to put into my music. And I've began to think, okay, when I'm at my own desk and I'm on my software, it's not an editing software for videos, but it's an editing software for audio. And you learn it all here. You learn audio so you editing, you learn, you learn video editing, you learn story editing, you learn it all. So it opens up an aspect for music. It opens up an aspect for uh, you know, a, a road down entertainment, you know, script writing, author, whatever you want to be, it's almost right here. And so for music, it's that kind of writing aspect of telling the world your story and what my story is and what maybe somebody in historical time's story was. And so I think that's a really important aspect in my music currently, too. Great. So I'm going to ask you a question because we're going to tease a little bit of the project that your first project that you're working on. Um, it, it started out that you were just going to record an event and be done with it. And now it's turned into this uh, more elaborate uh, production of content. So tease a little bit about that story so folks can uh, get excited to, to see it once it's complete. All right. Uh, so how could I tease it without telling it? <laughs> um, well, I let's talk about uh, we're in election <coughs> season, right? That is so true. So tell them about the event that you recorded. So there was an event at Barnstable High School um, ah, oh geez, maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe maybe three now, but you know, time flies. So, uh, and the candidates' form was held in the night hall at the um, Barnstable at Barnstable, and it's just you know the stage. And I decided to just go in and film it, and you know, it, the whole purpose of the event is to pull in a group of students from all different schools that are taking government classes, government related classes, and they are able to see the candidates and see senators and see and hear what they have to say about certain topics that are happening to our in our local government. Um, so it was really interesting to kind of see students' perspectives on this particular event. And um, so main approach is just kind of, you know, that's, that's, uh, I filmed that and uh, we'll just <laughs> see how it goes in the season, you know. <laughs> but also you're, you, when you came back with that footage, you realized that there was a deeper story there, that there was, there were more people to talk to. Yeah, there was a, yeah, actually, yes, very <laughs> much so. I mean, when I realized I, I went and filmed something that's based on local government and then I <laughs> came to town hall to work <laughs> and then I realized that oh I could just look upstairs and there's somebody else to talk to about it so excellent so what would you tell underclassmen so you're a senior you're gonna be graduating this is kind of a world of work I know it's exciting isn't it yeah. what would you tell an underclassman about doing internships oh man definitely do it I, I mean to be able to, we all work, um, well, typically most of us work those jobs that, you know, you work at some fast food place, you work uh, as a busser, you work as something, you know, something really basic, you know, retail stuff. But what an internship will offer is a real life work experience. Um, and let me tell you, it's so much better it's so much better, it's so much more relieving to just kind of get out there. And when, you know, when I came here, it, I, I knew I wasn't going to be walking into my, you know, current, you know, job and have that kind of same feeling. I walked into a real, like, real job. Like, this is, this is, and not saying that those jobs aren't real when you're busing tables or whatever that is, um, but when you end up coming into an internship, you're focused on, for instance, mine's focused on, on telling the people, um, being the press, um, and you can go into anything. Um, you just find the right people, find the connections, and you can internship anywhere. I have friends that are internship, their internship is at performing arts centers, they have them at um, even a music studio was one of them. 
They have people doing stuff, uh, CNAs, and all this stuff that's a huge opportunity. And it's also a way to kind of see, find out, do I want to go into this career? Or maybe I don't. And even if you go and you do it and you say, I don't like it, at least now you know. I don't want to go into that career and I want to look at something else. So it really kind of clears your brain because you're, you're coming out of high school and you're going into the real world. You know, so they kept you away and now you're going to go out and this is kind of a way to almost like a comforting feeling of I know what I want to do or I, I know what I don't want to do. So Excellent. Well, we are really fortunate to have you. You've got a bucket load of talent and we can't wait to see all the work you'll produce here this year. I'm really excited and I'm really glad to be a part of the crew. Excellent. Thanks, Seamus. No problem.